Hey, welcome back. This is the second episode of Jaipur Tour. If you haven't seen the first episode, please do watch it by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We started the day by visiting Billa Temple. Birla Mandir is a Hindu temple built in 1988 by B M Birla. This temple and its complex is solely made of white marble and inside the temple we can see traditional Hindu stories as glass paintings on the windows. It also has statues of its founders Rukmini Devi and Braj Mohan Birla right outside the temple with folded hands facing the temple. Apart from the temple, the complex includes a well-maintained garden, couple of gift shops, and a family museum, which contains the family treasures and valuables of the Birla family. Please note that any sort of cameras are not allowed inside the temple. After visiting the temple, we moved on to visit the Albert Hall Museum. The Albert Hall Museum is the oldest museum in Rajasthan. The building is within Ram Nivas Garden and was built to honor King Albert Edward, who laid its foundation in 1876. The museum is a five-storied building, which Moreover looks like a humongous palace. It is one of the favorite spots for photographers. We could see many photo shoots of newlywed couples in front of the museum. The Rajasthan Tourism Department has provided options to hire guides or even opt for audio guides with headsets which can be bought from the ticket counter. As soon as we enter the museum we can see paintings of all the rulers of Jaipur On entering via the door we can see paintings which depicts scenes from Mahabharata Moving further in we can see a rich collection of paintings jewelry stone and metal sculptures crystal works wood works porcelain pottery etc which were collected from the gupta dynasty mughals delhi sultanate and british rulers In the next section we could see exhibits of war there were displays of swords daggers knives 
rifles and shields. We then moved to the first floor of the museum, which had vivid clay models depicting yoga poses, domestic life in India, ethnicity, etc. This museum has an Egyptian section in the basement. There were write-ups of King Tutankhamun and how mummification is performed step by step. The area was pretty dull with just the exhibits in focus. The exhibits included empty coffins, army badges, daily use artifacts from Egypt, as well as the mummy of King Tutankhamun. This is the main attraction of the museum and little bit scary too. As soon as we stepped out after the museum tour, we took pictures with thousands of pigeons and museum in the backdrop. We next moved on to famous Amir Fort after two hours in the museum.